So good morning, uh, Mr. Mark Dainty, and uh, thank you for granting us uh, the opportunity to visit the Onco uh, Wildlife and Aquarium, uh, you know, uh, a place here in uh, Sodikum District of Simria Province. So, Mr. Mark Dainty, you are the curator yes. of the place, and you handle a lot of uh, animals here, sir, including the tiger that we are, uh, you know, standing uh, near right now. Yeah. So, as I was informed, there are three tigers: sir, Venus, Sarah. And also the younger one named Indra. Indra, so. yes. So you have been taking care of tigers for how many years now, sir? Let's say. Um, I I think now I I first worked with tiger around 20 years ago. 20 years ago. Yeah, so quite a long time. <laughs> so you first work on tiger as uh, as you know like a caretaker or something. Yeah, like as that? A, uh, yeah. animal keeper. Yeah. So animal we keeper. we clean, feed, give medicine mm. uh, every day. Yeah. Yes, sir. So you know, after 20 years of experience, I, uh, you know, you have a lot of, uh, you know, insight and also, yeah. you know, the idea how to protect tigers. Sir. So yeah. uh, 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 behind here, sir, the three tigers. Can you tell me, you know, where they are from, sir, and why they are being kept here, sir? Let's say. Yeah. So our our two adult female tigers came mm -hmm. from um, a zoo in South Africa. Yes, sir. Um, so we import them into Cambodia. Um, our youngest one, Indra, was born here at the uh, AWA. Um, the reason we bring tigers here is we want to show tigers to people so they can uh, learn about tigers and uh, most importantly, we want to care and, and, and preserve tigers. Right? Yes, sir. Because tigers now are very endangered. Um, and uh, unless we change people's uh, the way they think and uh, we, we will lose tigers altogether. So uh, very important that we teach people. Yes, sir. so these tigers do not belong to Cambodia originally, sir? Uh, no, this species is um, from India. India. This is a Bengal tiger, mm. yes. The tiger that was from Cambodia is the Indo-Chinese tiger, but it's also very, very rare. Um, and the, the, there, are, there are some, um, but yeah, this one from... Uh, from India, Bengal, India, so. Bengal, yeah. So I think uh, one of the tiger is heading toward us. So can you tell oh, yeah. me, you know, the biography of that tiger a little bit, sir? Let's see. So th this is Indra. Indra, sir. Oh, the younger so one. So this is the younger one. Now, th yeah. Now he he will be two next month. Two years old. Uh, next two month. years old next mm. month. So you know they grow very quick, right? So now he he's bigger than his mom <laughs> already. Yeah, he was born on the November eleventh. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, you know, um, the question can be a bit technical, so, but I just yeah. want to know, like, how do you, do you transport the animal from, uh, from that place, sir? Yeah. What means, let's say, sir? Yeah, of and course. how do you protect them along the way? Yeah, of course, transporting a, a dangerous animal like a tiger is, um, is quite technical. And mm -hmm. of course, we need to make sure the animal's safe yes, and secure sir. along the way. So. Um, they're transported in, uh, in uh, crates, boxes, mm -hmm. uh, reinforced, of course. You need to be very strong. <laughs> mm. um, and we have something called IATA, which is an international airline. Yes, uh, IATA. IATA, yeah. It's like regulation. Or yes, uh, and they have um, regulations on, on standards of uh, mm. boxes and crates. So uh, we need to build something to their standard, which is strong and suitable for the tiger to be transported. Yeah. And then, yes, they fly from uh, South Africa here in, in, on the aeroplane, just like we do, <laughs> mm -hmm. in the cargo. And we collect from Phnom Penh Airport and bring here um, mm -hmm. on the truck. So along the way, do you need like a, a person to keep in touch with the tiger to yeah, monitor we, them often? Sir? Yeah, so there's uh, also a lot of regulations um, to make sure animals in transport have enough food, water. And, mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, most of the time they want to be left alone because mm. you know they're in the box they're not too sure about things so as long as um somebody's there to make sure the the water bowl is full they always have water mm. feed is they don't need to eat during transport so yes, sir. yeah the main the main point is the the security of the the, the box the box yes um and so then, if they go out of the box that is a big problem, big, big problem the yeah. <laughs> yes sir and uh, you know uh, just a small question you know when they are on the plane do they freak out you know, like the, the air pressure. I mean, know, the, uh, well, the, the air pressure yeah. is the same for us on an airplane. Mm. Okay, so, it, so it's, it's regulated. So yeah. no, yeah, the it, air pressure really and things like that. No. But yeah, of course, it's very unnatural for a tiger to yes, get on an airplane. And they don't mm. understand what's happening. So yes, they are, they are stressed 
during transport. Yes, sir. Um, so this is why we need to transport uh, the most direct routes as possible. Mm -hmm. So the least, the, short the least amount of time, yes. Okay. Um, and then al al also we need to look for their welfare uh, along the way. To make, yes, make, sir. Make sure but okay. you know, when it arrives in Cambodia and then yep. transport it to Siem Reap, you also need to protect them the way that they are on the aeroplane, but just in cars, something like that. Yes, in, in, in a, in a uh, truck, in a big truck, mm -hmm. sealed, so it, again, it's safe. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, we, we drive from Phnom Penh to here. Yes, sir. But when you introduce them to this place, sir, how yep. do you, you know, how do you let them cope with the new environment, sir? Um, so, for our tigers that are born from the zoo, right? Yes. So, yes. They're, they're not from the wild. They, 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 they always lived in an enclosure like this. Yes, sir. Um, which makes it easier for us to, to settle them and make sure they're happy. But, mm -hmm. of course, a new home, they, uh, they need to learn who we are, they need to learn about their, the new environment. So yes, it is a bit stressful when they first come. But like I say, because they're born in the zoo, these ones are easier to, to settle uh, and get used to us. Yes, and it, it doesn't take long, you know, some, some food and some, <laughs> you know, and then they, they're okay. Yes, sir. So maybe we can just go to yeah, Indra a bit, sure. sir, because maybe people would like to see. So just a, a, a quick, uh, you know, like description, sir. How do you, uh, I mean, uh, how do you know that the tiger belongs to Bengal or how maybe Sumatran or Indian? Yeah, so like the, that, sir. the different subspecies, for, uh, the, the, there are ways you can tell by, by looking at them. Yes, sir. How many stripes or how big the stripes are. Mm. Um, the size of the tiger, like the Sumatran one is the smallest, the Siberian oh. one is, is massive in comparison. Yes, sir. Um, but we cannot tell 100% just by looking. So if we, if we needed to do um, that work, we would need to take blood and test genetics. Uh, mm -hmm. That's the only way to tell 100%. Yes, sir. So this is Indra and uh, yeah. Indra is about two years old, sir. Be two, yeah, in a few weeks, two years old. So you might uh, you, you said that Indra was uh, pregnant. Uh, no, no, he was in the womb along the yeah. way of the transportation, sir. Yeah, so we, yes. we, we bring two females because we didn't want to breed tiger here because we don't have a responsible um, exit strategy where, yes, sir. where to send them. Um, so we bring two females just mm. to display to people. Um, but yeah, one of the females, Venus, uh, was pregnant before coming, nobody knew. Mm -hmm. She only had one baby, yes. so she didn't get a big belly, like you would mm. expect if have four. And also, she didn't produce milk for feeding, oh. so she didn't look pregnant at mm -hmm. any point. <laughs> so he was a bit of a surprise for us. Yes, sir. So so how, how did you feel when you found out that Venus was pregnant, sir? Like, how did you well, prepare for we, a we, newborn? We, we didn't. We only found out when she gave birth. <laughs> so I find him in the, in the, inside the bed. So we, we didn't know because she, she didn't um, produce the milk and she didn't um, get a big belly. So we, we, did, we had no idea she was pregnant. So he was a surprise. Yes, sir. So, so I mean, um, the newborn just lay on the, on the bed or something yeah. like that, sir? Yeah, yeah. And then you, how, how, again, so how do you, I mean, how do you take care of baby tigers? I mean, do you, is it the same like cats? Well, normally, no. normally what, what, what we aim to do is let, Mum take care of everything. That's the best way. Yes. Yeah, we don't get involved. But with Indra, we had to because she didn't produce the milk. We don't know why. Um, but she, um, yeah, she didn't produce the food for him. So then, then we had to intervene and feed him. Mm -hmm. yes, um, but <clears throat> we made a decision with him to, um, we call co-parent. Co-parent. Yes. He's, it can be a bit dangerous for Tiger because sometimes the mum can attack or kill the baby mm -hmm. if it's smell of us. But Venus is very calm, Tiger, very nice. How do you know it is calm, sir? Because uh, she, she, her behavior, she's behavior. very calm, she's nice with us. Mm -hmm. So we decided to uh, take a small risk, but uh, well, <laughs> small risk, but a, a risk that we put him back to mum after feeding. So we feed him six times a day. Six times a day. We tell, but we only take out for feed, then straight back to mom. Mm. At first, she paid no attention at all to him. She didn't care for him. Um, I think she's an inexperienced mother, probably doesn't know how. But after, you know, after two, three months, when he start walking, and then she pay attention to him. Then she oh. start to clean him. And then she become a very good mom. But it so, takes take so a long time. It takes about three months just for, for the tigers to be able to walk by itself. Yeah. 
So quite uh, longer than cats. Actually, yeah, right? I mean, no, they they could walk before that, oh, okay. but but I mean, when when he really get up and start to play, mm. and she take she pay a lot of attention to him. Yeah, it was around three months we saw the change in mum, and then she become a, a, a really good mum. Yes. But yeah, it take, took some time to get there. So so by by you know the the the, the concept that you said co-parenting, it yeah. means that you also take care of her Indra. We provide the food the because food? she couldn't. She do everything else. Yes. Yeah, well, uh, we provide the food, cleaning, mm -hmm. and uh, also you need to make them go to the toilet. Mm -hmm. Like um, uh, young cats, the mum normally stimulate them to go to the toilet yeah, they, they like by use licking. The tongue, yeah, to so we do that them. with the tissue, wet tissue or oh. something like that. But as soon as around three months, when she starts to do that, then, then we can step back and let her become mum. And uh, that's very important uh, that he grow up with a tiger mum, not a human <laughs> mum yes, or dad, right? So you feed Indra the milk? Yeah, and bottle, you know, with the bottle, yeah. But, but what kind of milk? So like, uh, uh, milk, uh, uh, no, kitten, kitten milk. Um, kitten milk. Yeah, yeah, just okay. same, same you can buy from the vets, but uh, just a lot more. So <laughs> he drink a lot of milk. <laughs> he he grow very quick. He, he put around one kilo a week on. Ooh, so he grow very time. quick, yeah. When he was born, he was 1.2 kilo. Now he's around 120. So the same weight of, as a baby human, uh, human babies. Not yeah, about, about he's that, like that this size. big, yeah. But every week, one more kilo, one more kilo. <laughs> so yeah, yes. he, he drink a lot of milk. But, but how do you know that, you know, when you are co-parenting, you know, <clears throat> an animal that has, you know, this kind of power? Yeah. How do you know how to protect yourself, so let's say? I mean, well, how do you guarantee that the, the tigers will not do Yeah, anything. of course. So, we, we only need to feed him milk for like six months. Yes, sir. After that, you know, he starts to eat meat and we can step back then. So, at around eight to 12 months, we, we really didn't need to, to, to be interacting with him anymore and we leave him with mom. So, when he was smaller, it, it, it's quite safe to be around him. Yes. Sir. Now, although, you know, we have a very good relationship. My, but I still now, I don't go inside with him mm. because he's very big, he's very powerful. And even playing, he could like scratch. hurt us and yeah. damage or even kill. So, so we don't go inside anymore with him. We only go inside just the time we need to. After that, he, he lives with mom. And very important that he's a tiger, not, not thinking he's human. Mm. He's not too good for them. But normally the tigers, so we'll, they will understand, you know, us. I mean, we are, we, we, they will understand that they are, we are like the provider to, yeah, to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he, he, he's very friendly. Mm. You know, be, because of the way he's been reared, yes, sir. Like, uh, we had to intervene and give the food. Or, yeah, of course. But, you know, tigers can play very rough. Mm. And even though he, if maybe he doesn't want to hurt us, he still could at 120 kilo. Yeah. That, that is 120 kilos, sir. Yeah, uh, roughly that, yeah. And and it is it it can still like you know put on more weight in the future. Um, he he could put a little bit more weight on. Mm -hmm. I don't think he will because we've castrated him, so oh. so he can't breed with mom or his aunt, of yes, course. Um, so it means he won't get quite as big because he doesn't have the testosterone. Mm, the testosterone. You know, like, yeah. So normally male tigers will get a bit bigger because testosterone, but uh, with him not. I think he'll stay around. 120. Yes, sir. But how about the food, sir? Like, what kind of diet do you, off, you know, normally offer to the tigers? Like, is it only meat or also like vegetables sometimes? Yeah, no, they only eat meat. They They're carnivores, they only eat meat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they only, in the wild, they only eat what they catch and kill. Yes, sir. So we try to replicate that as much as we can. So we feed a lot of beef. Beef. Um, and then we also feed um, chickens, Chick ducks. So we mix it up. So he's not only eating one type of food, um, but the biggest feeds he gets are uh, beef, yeah. They don't eat fish, no, sir? Um, no, not, not really not in the really. wild. He, he probably would if I gave him some, but uh, mm -hmm. in the wild, they, they, they don't really hunt fish. Mm -hmm. They hunt more big animals like pigs, um, you know, deer, mm -hmm. um, cow species. But, but the meat that they eat, are, are they normally raw or you, you know? Raw, yeah, so always raw. They don't eat cooked meat, sir. No. I, again, if I cooked meat and mm -hmm. give it to him, he would probably eat Even, it. Yeah, but but we got to think, every time we keep a wild animal like this, mm -hmm. we want to keep as close to the wild, natural as possible. Yes, sir. And in the wild, nobody's cooking the food for them, right? They mm -hmm. eat everything raw. So we do the same. So yeah, they get fresh, fresh beef, chicken and ducks. I see, sir. 
So can you offer like a small insight about you know like you know a daily routine of a tiger here, sir? Like in the morning they would wake up, yeah. they they would wait for food at some place. You know, it's like a routine, the habit or something like. Yeah. That. So in the morning, the ke yeah. the keepers when they come in yes, sir. first. Um, obviously, they come to check, make sure mm -hmm. the tigers are okay, mm -hmm. they're inside. Um, they give a small amount of food. Um, mm -hmm. This is just so we can check the tigers are okay. So they mm -hmm. give small food on a, on a, on a stick. That uh, means we can check everything is okay. You know, also, the you eyes. don't give the food directly to the tiger, sir? No, no. No, we, we always we use the, like the some stick. extension. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because, you know, if a tiger bite right. your hand... <laughs> that, that's that's yeah. it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, no, we, we give on the, on the small stick. Um, but this is just so we get a good look. So every morning we do a visual health check. Make sure everything's okay. Nothing happened in the night. No injuries, no problem with the eyes, no bad teeth or something like this. After that, we then uh, we check everything safe out here. We put some enrichment outside, mm -hmm. and then we let them out. So they come out here in the in the daytime. I see. And then in the afternoon, when it's feeding time, we bring it inside for for food. Mm -hmm. So we separate the tiger for feeding because we want to make sure everybody eats the right amount. Mm -hmm. So our diets are weighed for the each animal, yes, and, we, and it's very important that they they get the right amount. So we don't want them to get too skinny. But mm. most importantly, in captivity, most most tigers they can are fat. Get, get, they can get chubby. <coughs> yes. Yeah, because they don't do a lot of activities. Not enough ex yeah. uh, exercise, and also mostly fed too much. Mm. So we we uh, we weigh our tigers, and then we work out the the food percentage on their body weight. And yes. it's important that they only eat that. Yeah. Mm. So how do you bring them to the place where they eat? So like, do you normally call them? You know, yeah, just they, bring them. Normally they're they waiting know. already. Oh. Yeah, they wait here. Our keepers come through this gate. Yes, sir. And around 4 p.m., both tigers will be sitting here. <laughs> and they see the keeper with the wheelbarrow, they already know uh, the food's coming. So, normally in the afternoon, they would sleep because of the heat, sir. Yeah. So, you mean like tigers are not really familiar with heat? Like they are. Oh, they're familiar yeah. with it. They yeah. live in hot countries. Mm -hmm. um, but like a lot of animals, they don't like the heat. Mm. So, it's, it's much easier where if they need to catch food or yeah. do whatever, it's much easier to do when it's not so hot. Mm -hmm. When it's hot, take a lot of energy. Yes. So instead, like a lot of animals, they've evolved that they sleep during the heat. Mm -hmm. right? So if you come here to see our tigers in the daytime, a lot of time they're sleeping. Right? Yes. This is this is normal. So in the afternoon they might sleep, you know, throughout the day. So how many yep. hours do, do, do they normally sleep per day? Sir? So t tigers in in the wild can sleep around seventeen to twenty hours a day. Oh, so Depend they are only active. Yeah, very very, few hours, very short time. It depends. If yeah. they're successful in hunting, so they get a big meal and they eat, mm -hmm. then yes, they will then sleep, mm -hmm. you know, the belly full and they can sleep 17 hours, 20 hours e easy. So they so, just need to like digest the food. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Weekend, so. And so our tigers are no different. They do, they do the same. Mm -hmm. So some days they're more active. We don't feed every day because mm -hmm. it's normal that the digestive tract is empty. Yeah, yeah. Um, just like in the world, and we we do the same. So some days they're more active if they've not been fed. Yes, sir. After a big feed, 20 kilo of beef. <laughs> 20 kilo per meal. Yes, sir. And, and then they can sleep a lot. Yeah. And yes, sir. About you know their habitation because um, yep. normally they live in the wild, and I I have read some you know article. They say that. Territory of tigers are, can be large. Yeah, for male tigers yeah. is very large. Yeah, so yeah. you know they, yeah. they would have a very very big terrain, yeah, a lot of, of hiding spot. Yeah. But in the zoo, I know you know the real estate is limited. Yeah, we can. Yeah, yeah. And, and the finance. We can't yeah. provide that. So how do you make you know a limited space? Yeah. I mean, as comfortable as the wild as possible for the tigers. Sir. I mean, for 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 these guys, I mean they they they're born in captivity, mm. so they they've always been in a confined space. Mm. But yes, we need to give a good space, not too small. Small cages, this sort of thing yeah. is very bad. Um, but for these guys, mo most of what we do is about mental enrichment. Mental the problem, enrichment. Yeah, the problem with captive animals, especially tigers, is they get bored very quick, mm. right? Because they don't have to hunt or they don't have to they don't have to think too much like they would in the wild. Yes, sir. So we give enrichment, which is is um, 
replicating certain things. So, you know, uh, when we feed, maybe we put the feed at the top of the pole, so they need to climb up there, mm. like they would in the wild, to yes, climb sir. trees. Or maybe we hide the food, they need to use the nose and find it. Mm, so, so we, we like entertain we them. We give it, enrichment yeah, to keep them active as much as possible, yes. Um, so that mental, and not just physical enrichment, like climbing the pole, yes, takes sir. the muscles and the claws, also the mental enrichment is very important. If animals get very bored, especially tigers, this is when you start to get the pacing. You will see many, many tiger and zoo like walk up and down like this. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It, this is um, this can be very difficult to to to, to stop, but uh, thankfully we don't see it with with our tigers. Yeah. But I, I think it's because of the enrichment we. we so try. if their mental health is not so good, their physical health will also go also, down a lot. Yeah, way, same, so. same like us. Mental health is very important. Maybe right. they start eating less, they start in, in, interacting less. Yeah, and, they, like and they, they do different behaviors we call stereotypes. So stereotypes. like pa pacing up and down is a stereotypic mm. behavior. It's mostly due to boredom. They can even you know, lick themselves too much and, and have problems like this. So it's very important that we provide a lot of enrichment. So animals like routine, routine is very important. Mm -hmm. If we step out the routine, they can get stressed. So they like their routine, but also um, not not too much routine. We need to <laughs> we need to mix things up every now and then. Fooding, uh, feeding, sorry, and um, different things for them to do. Yes, sir. So normally the baby will stay most of the time with the mom because they need to yeah. interact with each other. Yeah, it's very important for the babies to grow up with the mom. Mm. So we, we we don't like when um, uh, a lot of people take the baby away from mom and rear with the bottle. You know, so people can pet it. We, we, we don't like this. It's not good for the tiger. This is why we decided to, to risk putting him back with mom all the time because it's way better for him mentally than he grow up with a tiger mom, not a human mom. Um, yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's very common practice, yes. unfortunately, for people to, we call hand rearing, hand rearing tiger, mm -hmm. um, but uh, it's really not good for the tiger. So yes, sir. although we had to step in and provide food, uh, we did it um, the least possible way. So he grew up with mom, not, not us. Yeah. Yes, sir. But um, I mean, about the disease of the animals, yeah. what are the common diseases that tigers might have, sir? So, they they they're the same as uh, domestic cats. Oh, in the okay. sense that they they can get the same type of infection or, or diseases. Yeah. Yes, sir. So um, they have actually the same vaccination that mm -hmm. that you know my domestic cat go to the vet. Yes, sir. Once a year and have the vaccination. Mm -hmm. These guys have the same, just more of the vaccination. More, sir. Yeah, yeah, because they're bigger, they need more. Oh. Um, so they get rabies, oh. rabies vaccination. Is very important. So rabies are not only for dogs. Only uh, cat, cat Car also have carnival, rabies. Carnival, carnival, carnival. Yeah. yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. Um, and then also um, uh, canine distemper is mm -hmm. is quite common in Cambodia, yes, and uh, kind of affect carnivore again pretty bad. So we do a mixed vaccination mm -hmm. once a year, both rabies and distemper vaccine. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. But you know, how how do you like, um, let's say, if they have like some disease? Mm -hmm. So, do you bring them to the hospital or maybe the doctors will we, come We here? bring the hospital here, okay, <laughs> so okay. the vets come to us. Yes, sir. Um, so, we, we have vet um, visits uh, mm -hmm. twice a month, every two weeks. Oh. The vet team from CM Reap come here and we tour everywhere and see. Yes, sir. Um, so, we have uh, a lot of treatment that's ongoing for like, uh, we have quarantine animals, mm -hmm. um, deworming, parasites, all this sort of mm -hmm. stuff. This is like uh, preventative medicine. We do this yes, all sir. the time. Um, and the, but yes, if we find uh, we have somebody with an injury or uh, a disease, an infection or something, then the vets come here. Very important. We can't take the tiger to see them. We, they have to come here. Yes, sir. And also, sir, uh, the following question is that, you know, when you allow them to live in a very comfort zone like this, yep. and, you know, they don't need to hunt, mm -hmm. they don't need to, you know, let's say, be aware of the predator. Yeah. You, you, I mean, it is almost definitely that we cannot release them into the wild. Like, is that right, sir? Okay, so they, there is a project ongoing currently to release tiger back to Cambodia in the mm. Kardama Mountains. Um, so it, it is possible. It is possible. Of course. Um, we, we, res we rescue and we release a lot of animal in Cambodia also. Uh, every week we release python mm. or, you know, monitor lizard, uh, turtles yes, especially. Sir. 
the difference is that the tiger, that if you want to release tiger, mm -hmm. then it's more about the animals that you get, if it's releasable or not. So mm -hmm. these animals are born in the zoo, you know, like Indra has, yes, has been part reared by us. Mm -hmm. So this means he's not suitable for release, right? So, he's so not scared of people. So <laughs> if, if you allow them to visit the wild and live by their own, they they will not be able to survive. That, that's what you mean. Yeah, I, the, yeah. the main problem is they're not scared of people. And if they don't run away from people, it's very dangerous, right? Somebody will try to catch or try to kill. Because they, they have the instinct to go and Yeah, because they're not scared of people. Or he won't know how to hunt, uh, you know, a wild deer or a pig. Uh, so he won't be able to catch the food because he never learned with mom because he, they don't go for this. So in captivity, uh, if you want to do a release project, that's the sort of things you need to do. So so they, they need to be the least amount of human activity as possible. So they're still man. scared of us. So like for example, right hunt. now they cannot see us this often, no. Yeah, no, no, yeah, so, right. yeah. But mostly we you, you stay away. Um, mm. And if they do see people, they need to be scared of them. Uh, which, which these are both not scared of people. So these, no, we would not be suitable for a release. So to keep an animal before releasing is, is very different and need to be done in different settings. Not, not on dis display to people or not, you know. Not seen a lot of people. So, for example, as we are seeing right now, there's uh, someone who throw the meat to them, sir, and that is why they. This is like feeding time for them, right? This, now. this is part of. It's not oh. really. It is food, but it's mm. just a small amount. But mainly, this is just one of their enrichment feeds. Enrichment feeds. Day. Yeah. So, um, again, it, it makes them think about. Uh, they need to go to find the food. So you can see the grass. Some of the grass we leave long. Yes, sir. If we throw the food around into it. They need to use the nose, they need to smell, they need to go and find it, right? And, and this is just uh, something to keep them occupied. It's a very small feed, it's, it's not really a, uh, you know, to, to feed them, just, just to keep them active and occupied, yeah. I see, sir. Uh, so as, a, you know, as an expert in tiger, do you think training tigers, looking after tigers in this way, is it like, um, you know, it, it demands a lot of skill to do it? You know, maybe like knowledge also and practice. I think, I, I, yeah, experience yeah. is the main thing. So mm -hmm. we, we need to understand what, what the tigers need. Yes, sir. Right? Um, and and then, then we can look after them well. Yeah, so it, it's about understanding uh, what tigers need, what makes them healthy, mm -hmm. uh, what makes them unhealthy. Like I said before, getting too fat is not mm -hmm. good, right? And uh, you can see by our tigers, mm -hmm. we can tell from the body shape, yes, sir. They're, they're not fat. They're not fat. Yeah, we so they have a little, a little bit of uh, you know, like uh, you know, belly. The skin. Uh, the skin. Yeah. yeah. Is, is is normal. It's normal. It's that normal, is normal. Yeah. So, um, we we do something called body condition scoring. So there's a scoring system. We use one to five. One very skinny. Five very fat. So this is like what number is that? Sir? I would say it's around. Well, I would like to say three and a half to four. Three and a half to four. So he might have a little bit of belly to lose mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> but yes, he he's not obese right? he's, mm -hmm. he's not dangerously fat so and and what we do by that is we keep them to like if you see a tiger in the wild right you see the body shape mm -hmm. the wild body shape is what we want you can you can if you look on the internet of a wild tiger yeah they are more like captive one, yeah you yeah. can see the difference and so mm -hmm. we we aim to be more like the wild type because that's how they've evolved that's that is healthy Yes, sir. Uh, captivity often quite fat. Yes, sir. And also, like, uh, maybe the very last question. So, so in yeah. Cambodia, the tigers are very, very less now, as you mentioned. Tigers in Cambodia are, are extinct, unfortunately. Ah, extinct. Um, I think the last photo was caught in um, Mondulkiri in 2007. Yes, sir. Uh, by camera trap. Mm -hmm. After that was that was the last um, tiger known in Cambodia. So, so what so. are the the contributing factors that you know, eliminate the tigers in Cambodia? Mostly, uh, well, two things. Yes, sir. Uh, mostly snares, so yes. hunting. Yeah, mm -hmm. they put the snare in the forest, it, uh, you know, it catches the tiger and, and they kill the tiger. You mean like uh, the, the claw? The wire. Yeah, the claw. The wire. Yeah, the wire. Yeah, the wire. yeah so yeah. just as the, as the animal walks along, it steps in it and then mm -hmm. it closes on the, on the mm -hmm. foot. This, unfortunately, there are millions of snares placed in the forest of Cambodia. Millions? Catch, millions, millions every year to catch to catch wildlife to eat. But you know, uh, maybe it's put to catch the small bird, mm -hmm. but can still kill the tiger. So, mm -hmm. so it, it's, it's not, they're not put for one species. They 
catch and kill anything that puts the foot inside, right? Yes, so th this is a big issue. Um, the other thing is just habitat protection. You know, the less forest we have, the less place for tiger to live. So whilst we still continue to chop the forest, we have less less places for tiger to live successfully. Yes, yeah. So what do you know poachers normally do with the tigers? I mean, in some cases they want the the teeth <coughs> and the skin, but what yeah, else? Like, I mean, um, from previous, if somebody was to catch a tiger, uh, they sell the the skin. So the, the skin gets sold, yeah. um, and you, you're right, the claws, yeah. the teeth, all, all can be sold, yeah. um, and also the bones. The bone. Tiger bone is used in traditional Asian medicine oh. um, for, for you know medicine for cures and things like this. Um, so every part of the tiger can be used and can be sold for profit. Yes, and, uh, that's what people post. Yes, and also the very last question I just want to ask about their names. So why <laughs> Venus, why Sierra, and all... Uh, most importantly, Indra. Indra. So, okay, so yeah. v Venus and Sarah, mm -hmm. they had the name before coming to us, from the zoo before. So we just keep the same name. Yeah. They know the name, so we just keep so, Venus so and when Sarah. So you, when you call them like that, they automatically... Will, they know the name. They, they yes. know the name. Yeah, yeah. Um, but of course, Indra born here, we get to name him. <laughs> um, so uh, me and my team were searching for name yes. for him for a few weeks. Yes, sir. So he didn't have a name for a while. Mm -hmm. um, and I came across Indra. Indra is a, a Buddhist and Hindu god. Yeah, yeah, Indra. Indra. Yeah, Indra. So, um, and from what I read on the internet, was um, like the god of power mm. and the savior of humankind. Mm. And I just like that for the tiger. Yes, sir. So we can, we can, it just means he has a meaning for his name and it, and it comes from a good place. So, uh, Indra. Yes, and Indra also is a name that everyone can say easy. You know, whether you're, you're foreign, Khmer, or yes, whatever, sir. we can all say Indra. Yes, sir. <laughs> so, if nothing happens, they will stay in this enclosed, in, enclosure for like the rest of their life? Or yeah. do they get, you know, to go out like once a year to other places? No, I mean, no. moving a tiger is quite stressful. Okay. So, it, it's uh, because they're not like the domestic animal, like the dog. You know, I take my dog for a walk, you really enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. If you take tiger from this enclosure, they don't know what's happening, you're very scared, very stressed. So no, there's no benefit to, 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 to let come them outside. Out, yeah. no. uh, yes, sir. And it's also very dangerous. <laughs> big, yes, big cats. Yeah. So thank you, Mr. Mark Dainty, for okay. your insightful uh, uh -huh. you know, uh, data and uh, idea on how to raise a tiger in captivity, sir. Yeah, no problem. Thank you, sir.